All right, so in this question here, a particle is projected vertically upwards. Um, so you can see here from the ground, I suppose it would be 22.05 meters per second. And because of that, I, I put upwards then as positive. And, you know, it's your choice what you take as, as positive, but I always go with the direction it initially goes. So it's going upwards to start with, so upwards is positive. And you notice here then I've got my acceleration caused by gravity. Obviously, that's going downwards towards the centre of the Earth. So um, question A says calculate the time that elapses before the particle returns to the point of projection and the speed of the particle at this time. So we need the time and the velocity, so I've written question mark here because I don't know what they are, given my initial velocity here. And notice my acceleration, 9.8 of course because of gravity, but it's minus 9.8, all right, because it's going opposite to what I defined as positive. And then you notice I put S is zero, so displacement is zero. And that's the case, isn't it? Because if it goes upwards, it's going to come down, and we are interested in the time it takes um, to get to where it was projected from. So it's going to go up, and it's going to fall down. And when it falls down, it's going gonna, it's gonna to get here. And our displacement here is zero, isn't it? Okay, it's where we started from. So this is where we're starting position, so this is where S is zero. So I'm interested in the time when S is zero. Okay, so all I've got to do is, if I use um, S equals UT plus half AT squared, okay, now um, S, of course, is zero, all right, um, U is 22.05, T plus half, now 9.8, oh, minus 9.8 for acceleration times T squared, okay, so we've got that there, now what we'll do is we'll tidy this up. That's going to be minus 4.9, isn't it? T squared. Um, and perhaps what I'll do then is, if I take everything over, you might see that then you might prefer to put the T squared to positive. We get that, right? So in order to solve this for time now, for T, we need to factorize, okay? And because we've only got two terms, we can factorize out the common factor of T take out t. So what do I times by t to get that? Well, it'll be 4.9t. And what do I times by t to get this? Well, it'll be minus 22.05 equals 0. So I've got two answers. t equals to 0. Or this bracket is equal to 0. Okay, because you've got two times, two things times them together to equal 0. Either the first term is 0, t is 0, or the other one. Bracket 0. And if you do some solving here, you can get your time by dividing, of course. Let's get my calculator. 22.05 divided by 4.9, and that comes out to be 4.5 seconds, exactly. Okay, so then we want the speed. Okay, we want the speed. So um, it's up to you what we use for the speed here. We could use um, using V squared equals u squared plus 2as, okay? So um, we'll have v squared equals 22.05 squared, okay? Because that's, um, that's what u is, isn't it? The initial, the initial speed. Um, plus 2 times grav um, acceleration caused by gravity, which is minus 9.8. And an s, of course, is going to be 0, isn't it? Because we're back to where we started from. And what's interesting is then this becomes 0, and then to get v, of course, we take the square over and we square root this. Okay, but let's just work out this to start with. So you see what happens. 22.05 squared. You get 486.2025. And then to get V, you, you take the square over, plus or minus. Of course, when you square root that, you're going to get back to, aren't you, the um, 22.05 meters per second there. Yeah? Okay, but it is plus or minus because, of course, this is telling you the velocity. Now, if it comes down, if it's coming downwards, then the velocity is going to be negative, isn't it? Because upwards is positive. When it's coming down, it's going in the opposite direction, positive. So we have technically the velocity will be a negative then, 22.05. But if you read the question carefully, it does ask for the speed, doesn't it? So the speed would be the magnitude of that, which is 22.05 meters per second. And um, I hope you see the, 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 what the similarity, of course, well, the exactness. The speed um, is the same, isn't it, as the 
initial speed. So it was projected with speed 22.05, and when it comes back down, it gets back to that speed of 22.05. So there's a symmetry involved, okay? That will always be the case. It will always be the same speed when it um, gets back to its starting position here, okay? And simply because, you know, when you look at this formula, that S is zero, so that bit disappears. So we end up with the same speed of 22.05.